Hey, this is Mr. A, and we are going to do, oh, wow, can't even see my face here. Let me take, oh, is that better? Now you can see me. All right, so we're going to do a little scientific experiment today uh, using the FET simulation, States of Matter. So uh, I'll share this link with you on the assignment tab so that you can play around with it yourself. I think that it's a good idea for you to play around with it, to explore and uh, find out some things for yourself. What we're going to do uh, in this video is we are um, going to look at what happens when you heat up solid water. So uh, just to explain to you a couple of things that you're looking at right now, uh, this is a, uh, you can think about this as like a, a pot of water on a stove and there's some uh, water in it. Uh, here's the stove down below and we can crank up the flames and uh, uh, we could also cool it off. That's kind of an interesting feature of this particular stove. What you see uh, inside the pot is these little wiggly things and those, uh, that's a representation of water molecules. You can see the one big oxygen and the two little white hydrogens. So that's uh, H2O hydrogen, uh, dihydrogen monoxide, uh, otherwise known as water. Now, um, we've been talking about kinetic molecular theory and that all particle, all, all of matter is composed of small particles that are in constant random motion, bumping in each other and the walls of their container. Well, that's exactly what you see here in this simulation. You see the water molecules all vibrating around and bumping into each other and bumping into the walls of their container. In the solid state, uh, they, uh, they don't take the shape of their container. You can see them all stacked up here, and you can see some of the crystalline uh, forms that the molecules take uh, in, the, in the solid state. Now, just quickly, I'll, I'll go to liquid, and you can see now that the molecules have taken the shape of their container. And to gas, man, they're, they're, they fill up the volume, and they're really bouncing around. Okay, so you can you can play with some of this if you uh, if you go to the FET site for yourself. What we are going to do is we are going to uh, take the water in the pot from the solid state to the liquid state to the gas state. Um, over a period of time by heating the water at a constant rate, okay? So uh, you're going to be an active participant in this experiment. Uh, you are going to be monitoring the time and uh, recording the temperature. Uh, so, um, you know, the standard uh, unit for temperature is the Kelvin. You see that there. I think it might be a little more instructive for us to, for, for our benefits, for this experiment, we're just going to measure in degrees C, all right, because we're a little bit more familiar with degrees C. I'm going to heat this up uh, rather quickly to my starting temperature. I want my starting temperature uh, to be, let's start it at, uh, let's start it at minus 30 degrees C, if I can, if I can get it to be right at minus 30, there we go, okay. All right, so that's still really, really, really cold. You know, ice begins to melt at zero degrees C and it's gonna boil at 100 degrees C. So I wanna start below zero and we wanna finish above 100 so that we can see all of the phase changes, all right? So what you are going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started and I can talk because, um, uh, let me just go ahead and get it started. I'm just going to go one notch up on the heat. All right. Wait. A let me let me start over. Let me start. Let me start over at minus 30 degrees C. That didn't quite go like I wanted it to. All right. So I'm going minus 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to do this at a constant rate. So all right. The experiment is going to begin right now. Okay, I'm holding a constant temperature of, 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 I'm holding a constant flame on the pot, which is delivering energy in a form of heat to the water. And as you notice, we have transitioned, or beginning, we've transitioned now from the solid to the liquid phase. The temperature is increasing. 
All right, things happened rather quickly there in the beginning, and now they kind of slowed down. What you are going to be doing during this experiment is you are going to back up, rewind, play, pause as necessary to create a graph of temperature versus time. The temperature is being displayed there with the little thermometer and the time you are going to be recording uh, with your phone or a stopwatch or a app or a kitchen timer, anything that's convenient. You will start the timer at in the video, at the point in the video when I said the experiment is beginning now. Then you will pause the video like every, I don't know, I would say every 10, 15 seconds. I think you need to do it at intervals less than a minute uh, in order to get some good data, um, especially when it's changing rapidly. So I want you to record uh, several, many, many, many uh, uh, time and temperature uh, measurements through the course of this video. Now I'm holding the temperature constant, the uh, uh, holding the heat on the pot constant, and uh, it is increasing in temperature very slowly. So we're about halfway right now, okay? So uh, it's, it's gonna be pretty boring <laughs> uh, in the middle part, but the interesting parts are going to be at the at the beginning of the end when some things are happening rather quickly. Okay. Sometimes it's just kind of mesmerizing to watch all those little particles bouncing around. Some of them are really, really moving around. As we get closer to the uh, 100 degree C temperature, you will begin to see the particles that are, that kind of escape the, uh, the large group and start um, have and and bounce around towards the top of the container. This is uh, evidence that the transition to a gas phase is beginning, and some of the particles have enough energy to escape uh, the bonds of the other particles and are then uh, able to uh, venture out on their own, so to speak. Okay, so now we are seeing more and more of those particles escape from the larger group and become uh, water vapor, become uh, the, the water that is in the gas form and are bouncing around and, uh, and uh, more and more particles are bouncing around and it's beginning to take the shape of the container, which is what a gas does. All right, so we're at 87 degrees and climbing. We've hit that 100 degree C point. We've got lots of water particles uh, that are bouncing around in the top of the container taking. And so the whole group of particles is beginning to take the shape of their container. We are gonna continue to take time and temperature measurements. until we get all those molecules into the gas state. All right, so we'll, um, let's see, we started at uh, 30 degrees below zero. Uh, let's stop at uh, 30 degrees above 100. So we'll go to 130 degrees C. Okay, and the experiment is over. All right, so uh, what you need to do for your classwork today 
is to create a graph of temperature versus time. Time is on the x-axis and temperature is on the y-axis. Uh, make sure that uh, your axes are like number lines and you have um, a title and all of the things that a good graph has. Right? And then we will talk about the shape of your graph when we get together next time.